Well, I'm Goulash, the Bunker Cat, and I live at Hack Green Secret Nuclear Bunker. Today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my life as a Bunker Cat, and how I got such an important job. In 2012, I was just a little kitten, and Lucy, the human boss at the bunker, came to collect me. I was born on a farm and lived in a little cage in the barn. When I lived at the farm, they only fed me old steak. I thought it tasted pretty good, though. Lucy says I'm a funny looking cat. My legs are too long and my tail is a different colour, so I look lots of different cats put together. So that's how I got the name Goulash. Because I'm made of odds and sods and bits of steak, just like Goulash. Lucy used to bring me to work at the bunker, and every day I could play while she did the boring paperwork. One day she took me to a really scary place called the BET. Well, I don't know much of what happened because I was asleep. But they tell me while I was having an operation that I stopped breathing. So technically, I think I died for about six minutes. It's a good thing cats have nine lives. The really nice nurses and doctors at Hillside looked after me really well, and one day I was sitting and I could hear Lucy calling me. I couldn't see her because I couldn't see anything, but at least I knew it was her. I crawled right up onto her neck and gave her a big hug and purred as loud as I could to let her know how much I loved her and that I was okay. Well, I stayed in hospital for around 14 days, and when Lucy came to see me and take me home, I still didn't feel very well though. Everything was really dark and I couldn't see anything, and when I tried to walk it was like the floor kept moving about. I couldn't balance at all. It was really confusing and I don't know what was going on. Then one day she took me into an office that I remember from being a kitten. I couldn't see it, but I could remember it. So I started to run and play and every day I got braver. Sometimes I fell over or banged my head on the tree, but I just kept going. And one day she let me wander free. I could sit with the visitors and go hunting outside. Another strange thing that started to happen, I could see lights and shapes that I couldn't see before. In fact, one day I could see so well I could see Lucy. Then she said to me, Goulash. Now you can see and find your way around, would you like a really important job? Would you like to be a full-time bunker cat, watching out for spy mice, and most importantly, meeting and cuddling visitors? Well, all of those things sound like my favourite thing, so I said yes. Now, I live at the bunker all the time. I love to see all the visitors and sit on their knees. I still can't see perfectly and I still can't balance all the time. And that makes me clumsy, but I'm really, really happy. I can do most things that cats do. I can even climb trees, sort of. I have some bunker friends, Alfie and Morris the dogs. 
obviously, at the moment, things are a bit different. We're closed, and I really, really miss seeing all my visitors. I'm living with Lucy. She got me a new comfy bed right next to a heater. Thank you to all my friends and visitors for thinking of us. And this bunker cat when all the stressful and scary things are going on in the world. I hope you enjoyed my little story and see you soon. Meanwhile. Hello, Lucy here. Thanks for that goulash. Last week's Guess the Object is a British Army and Civil Defence Geiger Counter Mark II. Can you guess what this is?